Welcome everyone back to the association. In this video, we're going to uh, kind of do a walkthrough. We had a little uh, update, as you can see there. Um, now we usually do build, along, build alongs on this channel, and uh, we haven't been building along. I don't know why the table is changing colors, by the way. Don't ask. Um, but we'll uh, bring you up to date uh, what we've been doing on the channel and what has been going wrong. So let's go ahead and get in right into it. Alright, so in a nutshell, uh, we ran out of hard disk space. <laughs> so uh, we have a good terabyte and change in the hard disk space. Someday we'll convert this to a uh, to a uh, solid state. But for now, we're back in the 20th century. All right, don't don't look at me like that. Don't don't do that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and walk around, check out the updates here. We're gonna start on the on the dining room side of things. So we're gonna put a china closet in this area here. I do love the Italian. Kind of style marble countertops but uh, this will be uh, set up with some type of china cabinetry not sure what we haven't gone out and hunted for those items just yet so we're not we won't be doing that in this video but we will be doing the uh there's a wall up above us there the soul fit it doesn't match the ceiling so we have to get around to that let's check around here on the bar side of things so this well let's start here <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put a uh, central audio system here, which is going to consist of like a Bluetooth capable receiver and a CD changer of some sort. So not in this video, but we plan on uh, working on that. The shelf we got from Archive 3D, really nice, but the shelf is one model. I thought it was going to be two models. No, it is one model. So we're going to put a window in and then take the back out. But we found out that, yeah, it's one model. But I think I can see out the window. I'm not 100%. Uh, if we can, then what I'm going to do is put a exterior wall uh, right next to the exterior wall. <laughs> and then we're going to put some backlighting in there. And that's going to look really nice in rendering. We'll probably make a thumbnail out of that, perhaps. Not sure yet. Thumbnail has not been created as of late. So uh, what else do we have to do around here? The bar. We brought this bar in. It is not a bar. It is from Sweet Home. It is not a bar. It's supposed to be like a mirror or some type of cabinet, perhaps a foyer cabinet, something like that, buffet table. I'm not sure what. It's very configurable as far as color schemes, things like that, but it doesn't do well with textures. We'll have to fix that. Um, the bulk of the video today is going to be centered around lighting. We're going to put recessed lights here and then over the dining room. We'll have our chandelier, of course. So you know how much we love chandeliers. And then we're going to have to put a... A, uh, a light of some sort over the countertop over the dining area. The recessed lights, not gonna lie, they're gonna be the hardest of the job or hardest of uh, the project here today. But we'll do it because we're either gonna go big or go home, right? We're gonna go big or go home. You know what? We're already home. All right, anyway, this is the uh, we got this TV shelf. It came with the TV, it came with this cute little. I don't know if that's a cable box or a DVD player. I haven't really inspected it yet to, you know, we just got it. But that comes with it. The TV is way too small for this area. Perhaps if this was like a bedroom or something like that, uh, that might be fine. But you've got the living room and you've got the bar here. So starting, you know, nights uh, watching a movie might be a little tough on the old eyes if we don't change that set. So we're going to get into that in the next video. The, again, the, what we're going to do here is the uh, recess lights and all the other lights that we want to put in. Other than the lights in the living room and the, and the kitchen, we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. That wall is hideous. It must go. It really it kills the flow of the uh, living space. Now, the shelf, the wall by the uh, bar there, by the shelf, that of course, that has to stay. Of course, it does. But the wall by the dining room must go. So, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get into the recessed lights. Oh boy, that's whew. so. What we'll do is kind of do go through. It took about an hour and a half, so we're gonna kind of streamline this. So let's let's get into it. So we had to find the single recess light fixture because we need it, and everything resides in documents. So at least in my system, it does. So we're gonna go in here and find the single recess light fixture. Now, the problem here is we have uh, configurations for the bedroom and the master bathroom and the ensuite. All those rooms have different configurations, so they're not, you're not going to find single recessed lights here. 
we're going to need the, the just one by itself. So we hunted and we hunted and there it is. We're good. So we're going to take this into uh, Creation Station. And this is this not like a New York skyline? No. So what we have here on the right is the bar shelf along with the sulfate that's above it. Everything is sideways. Yes, it is for a reason. In the center, we have the sulfate by itself. And on the end, we have the wall. So we need the measurements. We need the numbers. If you want to do this as something that uh, you really can't do willy-nilly, you're going to need the numbers because all this stuff has to fit back when we're finished with it. Okay. So if you want to do a tutorial, if you want us to do a tutorial here, leave a uh, comment down below and uh, let us know, hey, do a tutorial on recessed lighting. This, this takes a while. Anyway, we took the recessed lights, we put them on the side, and we stuck them in the shelf, or in the wall right there. So now all we have to do is just put them back into uh, the bar area in our project. Problem is, <laughs> and by the way, this looks like tower speakers, but the problem is those are too large there. That's a strike, and then those are too small. It's not going to work. All right, but those ones are perfect. They are perfect. We're good to go there. We are good to go. I'm happy with those. So, yeah, we now we need to know what we need to put on the top shelf. I was thinking maybe like, I don't know, like a Sweet Home tribute, like have the letters like S W E E T or something like that. I am not sure. I'm not sure. Let us know. I know we're a small channel, so we don't get a lot of comments uh, in our videos. But um, what we're going to ask you to do, if you can, we're going to get into the bar here in a second. That's going to be at the end of the video. That's where we need the input. That's where we really need the input. Anyway, those are the recessed lights. Let's move on to a, another project. How about the, um, how about we move over to the chandelier? Oh, well, we can't do that yet. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. So as you can see, those are mismatch. That's not going to work. So in the next shot, it should be straightened out. It is straightened out. The wall's gone. It, it, it definitely gives a nicer uh, streamline appearance through this. There is your chandelier from Archai 3D. Looks really nice. Happy with that. We'll do a little flyby there. That was sweet. You know what? Let's do that again. All right. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. so there's no bulbs modeled in this uh, chandelier. Not really. Gonna, we're, gonna, we're not going to worry about it because it's pretty, you know, most of our shots are going to be from a distance like that. So you'll really never know. Uh, that light fixture there, we created that. That's a custom fixture. It came as a single, and we took the chain off of it because the chain was way too tall for the area that we wanted to place it in. And then we just copied and pasted two times, and there you go. Kind of has an outdoorsy feel, like a patio feel, but I like it. Again, this is like a summer home, you know, vacation home. All right, let's wrap up with the bar. Let's do the bar. So we're going to need a countertop, so we're going to use a table to do that. Uh, not the purple one or the dark blue one, not that one, but that one. So we're going to take the legs off of it, plop it on the bar. And there you go. This is where we need the input because I like this. I really do. It's a dark blue, like a navy blue, and it just has a marvelous, like a brilliant texture to it. It's going to look kind of skewered on the sides, but we're not going to worry about that. We'll, we'll forget about that. It, it happens, right? But the surface and most of the sides are fine. But this is really brilliant. Yes, I know. It sticks out like a sore thumb. It doesn't go with anything. But we can change things. We can change things. For example, maybe we can change the uh, light fixture uh, over here. So we can change that. Instead of it being black, it can be that texture. For one, we can have the coffee tables have that texture on there. That would be another thing. So let us know. Do we keep this or not? If you ever see like those like, epoxy countertop uh, videos on YouTube, it's kind of like that. Right? It's really nice. It's different. Here's what we decided on for now. I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to go back to what we had. So, this is the final kind of thing. We got the bar stools in. Kind of looks like a gator skin with the uh, with the bar stools. But I think they're going to need to be scaled up a little bit. They're a little scaled. They're on the low end as far as scale. So, they need to come up a little bit. Uh, what else do we have to do? I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is it. Again, leave, leave a comment down below and let us know about the bar. That'd be fantastic. That'd be awesome. But I think that's going to wind it up. So far, really happy for a little vacation home, a little summer chalet, as it's formerly known as. We do want to put patio doors out there. We're going to do a covered porch and a uh, and a pool and stuff like that. 
So that's coming up. I can't wait to do that, honestly. We'll, we'll, hopefully, we'll do the build along because we have the hard disk space. But give a big thumbs up if you like what we're uh, doing here. Also, subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And clicking the bell. It's like a two-step dance. And then you will uh, then join the association. So with that, folks, I want to thank everyone for hanging out, for watching, and uh, for visiting our channel today. Setting off for now. Goodbye, everyone.